Hi there YouTube, Extreme Trains here. So in this video we're taking a look at another one of the Thomas Wooden Railway 2022 items. This is one that I have had my eyes on for quite some time, but it's just been very difficult at this stage to source a lot of these new Thomas Wood items uh, here in Australia. As talked about in a previous video, it's my understanding that at least one retailer in Australia is going to be get them, but they haven't confirmed it yet, despite me asking them several questions about it. So until then, this uh, is going to be potentially one of the uh, last Thomas Wooden, Thomas Wooden Railway reviews for a while, until I can find somewhere which will actually ship these things to Australia for a reasonable price. Um, and that one is the Thomas Wood uh, Thomas Wooden Railway, sorry, Edward for 2022. Uh, this is a really exciting model. I'm really, really excited to see what they've done here. Um, all the reviews have got me very, very keen. So what are you waiting for? Let's do it. Let's take a quick look at the packaging. You can see this packaging is pretty beat up. I bought this from Amazon and it just came packaged in one of their little sachet sleeve things. Um, so you can see uh, Edward has been a bit beat up, but if you open him up, he looks absolutely glorious inside there, which is fantastic. Uh, we come around to the back. Yep, it's the same kind of box we've seen from the other engines that I've recently reviewed. Again, with this little hanging tag here and with the perforation on the back, which means it's likely to have the advertising material inside. So, what are you waiting for? Let's crack Edward open. Having a quick look at the cross sell, because I know people have been asking me which engines I'd like to get. Uh, essentially, I'd like to get all the engines listed on here except Kevin. Kevin really doesn't speak to me. I have no interest in him. Uh, but Toby, the Troublesome Trucks, and Kenji, if I can find him for a good price, I'm absolutely keen to be picking up. So hopefully I can do that. Uh, also excited to announce in this video that I managed to get a relatively good deal on the Knapford, which was the only destination that I really wanted to get my hands on. So excitingly, there is a Knapford station on its way to me as we speak. So hopefully that will be coming in a review very soon. But now, what are we waiting for? Let's talk about Edward. So let's uh, separate him here from his tender. Take a look at the engine. Again, I'm just going to do that 360 degree spin. All right, first thing first. Uh, yep, this is a really good Edward face. I think... This is a really good Edward face, and also I think he is a character who it really fits him to have this kind of shocked face. Um, I think, you know, some of the other the faces they've chosen for characters have seemed a little bit... Like, it's not clear why they picked that face. For Edward, it's really good. It does, again, seem like the eyes are printed just a little bit too low. Like, if you look at it on the side, see how the eyes... Like, they feel like they should be printed higher. And I don't know whether this... Given I've said this for almost all of the engines, I'm wondering if that's just a... It's a design feature, like that's how they've been designed. But to me, it just seems a little bit weird that the eyes are painted so far down on the cheeks when you look at how they've been molded. But anyway, otherwise, I think excellent work in recreating his face. Again, probably the uh, quality of the print could be better. When you come in this close, it's not that great. Um, I think particularly for the face, it's important for that to be nice. Otherwise, we got the buffer detailing as is standard for these engines. We take a look at the side, and again, for the first time in Wooden Railway history, for an accurately wheel-based Edward. So you can see here, we have got the nice long design here. We've got his little funnel. We've got the boiler stripes, which looks a bit funny. They don't consistently go down. Again, we've got this kind of square bit cut out, which is accurate to the show, I think, but I'm pretty sure he's only got that on one side. Not really sure, but it doesn't bother me too much. I just think it looks funny that the boiler stripes kind of stop, but this one doesn't stop. It's almost weirder that they weren't consistent with the boiler stripe stopping, if you ask me. Otherwise, we've got the really nice arch detailing with the rivets, which are extra. And again, they put the coupling rod here, which I think is fine because, unlike on James, I'm going to keep using James as the example because it's just so bad. Uh, it actually lines up pretty perfectly with his actual wheels. So that is really good. Um, come to the detail here, we've got a very faint firebox glow, much fainter than uh, a lot of the other engines. And then we've got that little, you know, Thomas Wood style suggestion of a cutout here, would have been nice to have that actually cut out, but you know, that's okay. It wasn't cut out on James. Wouldn't expect it to be cut out on Edward either. Coming to the top, black roof on the top. This is all pretty standard. Yep, looking at the back. And I think when I look at Edward, for some reason, it just doesn't bug me as much as James. Like he does have, you know, the same quote unquote problem where, you know, these wheels are quite a bit smaller and he's got quite a small thin face. But I think the thing is that James, uh, sorry, Edward, kind of does have a thin 
thinner profile, who was always a very thin engine. Uh, and so I think this new design really doesn't bug me anywhere near as much, even though there's, again, this huge black space here underneath those wheels. Doesn't bug me anywhere near as much as it does on James. So as far as I'm concerned, that front of Edward is a success. And then we're gonna take a look at his tender. Again, I'm loving the unique designs for all the tenders. I really hope a lot of people got fired for Thomas Wood. Um, Cause it's just so subpar. You can see here, again, we get the nice uh, inclusion of the little, I think they're like, you know, gangway piece. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's nice. And I think it looks like kind of a little bit strange, but it's also very unique. And when you look at Edward, he does have those kind of things. So, <clears throat> sorry, I'm happy to have that extra bit of detail. Nice number two. Again, the style of this number two is fine. I think it's a bit weird that the two at the top, like the, the curly bit is smaller than the two. That's a bit strange. But again, it just doesn't look like, even this doesn't look like it's the same font or graphic design type as the other engines. Like if you have a look, or what's even better as an example, Emily, Emily's two, like, and Edward's two, it's not the same font. Why? Like, why is it different? Like Edward's two, I don't think looks like this. It looks like this. So I'm a bit confused. It really does feel like there were different graphic designers for these engines and they weren't communicating very well with each other. So I don't know what's going on there. Um, otherwise we've got the coal load again on mine. You can see there's a little bit of a gap. You can see there, there's a little bit of a gap between the coal load and the top of the tender, but that's okay, not the end of the world. Magnets, obviously that is what the bottom looks like. We've got the two little wheels here, which again, I think for Edward uh, looks fine. Obviously not as prototypical, but I think looks fine. And again, for some reason his tender doesn't look as silly as James's does. And I don't know if that's because I'm more used to this tender style now, or if it's because it's got this extra little bit on the front, it kind of makes sense. When I couple them all together and I look at this, this is just excellent. This is a really, really good look for Edward. I think it is great. Um, I, I'm very doing a lot of praise in this video because uh, I really held out on Edward um, and you know, was kind of waiting, waiting, waiting to pick him up. And I'm so glad I did. I'm just very, very happy with him. Compare him to Thomas. I mean, interestingly, they're slightly, slightly, slightly different shades of blue. I don't know if the camera, if the camera's kind of picking that. Thomas is slightly lighter than Edward, which is interesting choice. Um, but yeah, that looks great. Oop, I'm gonna make the focus come in there. Um, those two look great together. That's an awesome look. And then when we're comparing to the bigger engines, you know, that is another great comparison. Edward is appropriately smaller comparing to James. Again, they should be about the same size and they will be because they use the same chassis, you know, and same type of design. Yep, I think even they look good together. And I think having engines like Edward kind of almost makes James less look weird because compared to Edward, you're like, oh, I see what they were going for. So I think this kind of retroactively or retrospectively fixes up the weirdness about James's size. But yeah, this is an excellent Edward model. I'm very, very impressed. He's definitely one of the best ones of the new Thomas Wooden Railway 2022, which has had quite a lot of success stories, I think. Um, in terms of a price, I paid just over $40 Australian for this, which is quite expensive. Um, and it's kind of why I was waiting for so long, but I finally just bit the bullet and purchased him from, as I said, Amazon. Um, I'm not sure whether that's how much they're going to sell for when they come to Australia. I hope they don't because otherwise I think Mattel is going to have a very difficult time selling these at such a high price. Um, but you know, I guess that'll be remain to be seen when they actually get released in Australia. That said though, if you are a Thomas Wood collector or, um, you are an Edward fan, I think this is definitely one to pick up. So I would be keeping an eye out for specials and that kind of thing, uh, or when he's released in, uh, different locations so you can get him for a better price. Otherwise, thanks very much for watching. This is all we've got time for. This is Extreme Trains.